Well, hi folks, it's uh, what's the date now? Coming to the end of April, so it's about time I started sowing me frost tender, just frost tender veg like me climbing French beans, me cucumbers, me squashes, and also me courgettes. Because by the time they're sort of sprouted and ready, it should be about just past the middle of May when all the frost's gone. And I, I only plant them in my poly, polytunnel anyway, but I keep all the doors open so it's as cold as it is outside at night. So for me, this is about the right time to plant them. No need to do it too early because you just end up leaving them in the pots and getting pot bound until the weather turns right. So I'll just show you how easy it is to plant them. These are my French beans, climbing French beans called Cobra. Now, if you've not tried them, I would honestly give them a go. Especially if you can grow them indoors in a polytunnel or a greenhouse because I actually only grow five plants and that must get me 25, 30 pounds of tender beans every year because they're so prolific. You ask anyone who's grown them and uh, they always grow them again. So I'll show you how easy it is to plant them. If you look at a French bean, there's a little sort of scar on the bottom. Now I always plant that downwards. Don't know whether it makes any difference, but it seems to, you know, a lot of the old books say plant it with the scar downwards because that's where they open up and that's where the roots come out of. Whether it works or not, I don't know, but it's as simple as with these. I just push them into the compost about twice the depth of the seed, simple as that. I'm only planting three now, I'm going to plant another half a dozen. But just show you how easy it is. A little slit down about that deep, sort of halfway between your finger end and your knuckle and then just cover them up with compost. You don't need fine compost whatsoever because the big seeds and they send a big root out and they'll force open so there's no need to, to get really fine compost. And then these are the squash I'm growing, these are called Festival. They're actually the same as, I got a pack of mixed squashes last year, winter squash and uh, the ones I liked the best were the ones that looked like that little yellow ones. They're not massive, they're about Sort of that big, maybe a pound, a pound and a half, but you get about six to eight to a plant, and you just let them scramble about everywhere. And they're really sweet, and they store fantastically well over winter, so uh, I'm growing some more of those. Same thing with the, with anything like a cucumber or a squash seed. Sow them on the edge, because the, the root will come out of the edge. If you sow them on the sides, and you get a lot of compost on, sometimes the root can't push the, the seed shell through, and they get stuck and rot, so got to do it left right handed because of the way the camera is so these I just simply push them in maybe twice the depth of the seed on their edge like so and just cover up the compost again so it couldn't be easier there's nothing rocket science with this job oh like he says dropping his seeds the cucumbers I'm growing this year uh, market more, which are a, a sort of ridge or outdoor one. I grow them in the polytunnel. They're just little stumpy ones. They're ugly, little spiky things, but they're really sweet and they don't give you indigestion like some can do. They're a sort of for, uh, like an improved one that used to be called burpless. Obviously, for such reasons, doesn't get, doesn't make you burp. So make sure I put these in the right one. Short cucumber. Same with these little tiny seeds. Pushing down about two or three times their own depth on their edge and just lightly cover with compost so nothing too taxing now I'm trying a long cucumber for the first time for a while this is called telegraph and it's the trouble is with these though they do produce male and female flowers so you've got to remove the male flowers because if they let if you let them pollinate the female fruit then you get a really really bitter fruit and the male flowers you want to remove are the ones that don't have the little tiny cucumber growing out of the middle of the fruit. So, Because I was going to get some all female ones and I went to a shop to buy some seeds and they were £4.50 for four seeds. So I thought, you know, I, know, I like growing my own, seed, my own stuff but I'm not paying silly money. So I'll stick with these and just remove all the male seeds. These must be flashy, look, they're in a cellophane packet. So, like I say, they're all the same. Little seeds. Sow them on their edge. Maybe double the put double the width down, and then just lightly cover up. I'm going to put all these in my propagator. 
in my uh, peated propagator at about 70 degrees. They should be through in about maybe two or three days of cucumbers because they really don't, they don't have fly on. And then finally my courgettes, if you've never grown these, try these. These are called Defender and I'm not kidding you, I, got, I must have got at least 50 courgettes off one plant last year in the polytunnel. They just grow up right, they're a bushy one but they grow up right and if you sort of put canes around them you can get them to grow up tall and the, the courgettes just grow off the main stem and you just keep picking them and they just keep coming and coming and coming and they're absolutely fantastic. I just grow one and that does us, that makes, you know, you get sick to death of them. But I'm going to grow three anyway, just in case and give, give the old one away. So like I say, it's all, they're all the same looking seeds, little flat seeds, some are bigger than others. It's just the same principle, just stick them in, sort of two or, th two or three times the depth of the seed. And just lightly cover up with compost. So that's it, I'll give them a bit of a quick watering in now. Stick them in my propagator, and like I said, some of this little cucumbers should be up within, they can be up within 24 hours, believe it or not, they're ridiculous how fast they germinate. And then I'll just grow them on for maybe a week or two until, basically until they've got a couple of leaves and, and there's no risk of any frost and then I'll just plant them out and that's it. So that's year, this year's sort of tender veg, cucumbers and stuff like that planted out. Couldn't be easier. That's about it folks. See you later.